Hi, I'm Colin Shannon, a technical writer at cPanel. You may remember me from such other tutorial videos as How to Change Your cPanel Language and The Guide to Ruby Passenger Web Applications. Today, we're going to explore cPanel's disk usage interface. Your cPanel account only has a certain amount of memory available for you to store everything. This means that you must be careful when you save large files, and you may occasionally need to delete files and directories to free up disk space in your account. Whenever you do need to delete files, you may not know exactly what you can delete or what is taking up the most space on your account. The cPanel Disk Usage Interface lets you view the amount of space that each of your directories uses. You can view the files in any directory, as well as the disk space used by files residing in directories other than your home directory in the File Manager interface, which we go over in another video. Okay, let's go ahead and log in to cPanel. Here we are in the cPanel home interface. In the Files section, let's click Disk Usage. The Disk Usage interface will appear. The interface lists the disk usage of files that reside in your home directory, in hidden subdirectories, in locations other than your home directory, and in mailman managed mailing lists. As you can see, my disk space usage is pretty high in my home directory and in hidden subdirectories. Let's scroll down and see if we can identify the directory with the highest disk space usage. Hmm, looks like the Ruby directory is the one taking up the most space on my account. I'll click on it and see what files are in there and how much space each file uses. When I click the directory, the system redirects me to the File Manager interface, where I can view the directory more closely. The Ruby directory is open and shows the Gems folder. That's not taking up much space by itself, but let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh wow, there's some rather large folders in here. I'll open up the bin folder and see what's in there. Okay, looks like a bunch of Ruby code module files. Let's go back and open the gems folder. Wow, there's a lot of folders in there, and they're all holding several kilobytes worth of files. I guess I figured out why the Ruby directory is taking up so much of my disk space. But I don't want to delete anything in the Ruby directory, since I like to work with Ruby applications. So I'll have to look for other files to delete to free up some disk space on my account. For more information about cPanel, the hosting platform of choice, visit us on the web at cPanel.com or follow us on Twitter at, at cPanel. You can also access our documentation from the links in the description below the video. Thanks for watching and happy automating!